Hello, my name is Kayla. Thank you for reading my article this month at Envision Magazine. We wanted to go about giving you this downloadable little goal tracker for the month that you can use in your office. And we wanted to kind of explain the best way to go about using it. So what we're gonna do is show you a little bit of our clip from one of our Optical Cell Smart courses that teaches your team how to really build upon creating a great plan and being able to actually create real change in your optical. One of the differences between the article and what you'll learn in the Cell Smart course is in the article, we were talking about incentivizing your team on every pair sold. Where in the Cell Smart course, we really dive deep into this and we were talking about incentivizing people um, beyond the goal. So you can see the differences versus what we talked about in the article, which is usually more widely accepted amongst the optical community and um, kind of what we really teach within the Optical Cell Smart course, which is teaching our teams to think a little higher and to think a little bigger. But you're gonna see both modalities and choose what's right for your office. We're excited for you guys to try it out. At Spexy, we do not think that it is beneficial for our employees to just expect bonuses or profit sharing for doing the same thing that they did before that just happens to grow. However, there is a proven method in properly setting goals and rewarding on top of those very heavily. That's what we're going to do. Whether your team needs a lot of work or a little work, it's a good idea to get your optical team in the mindset of change. In this setting at Spexy, we're going to help your team develop a new mindset. We suggest that you calculate a goal and then we are going to help you structure the mindset of change that'll help your opticians get to that goal. In order to make this change in mindset happen, it is imperative that the team leader structure out everything beforehand. And also that when there is a payout that you pay, if your team starts to think of you as a liar, they won't perform for you anymore. Going along with the AR theme for this month, this is what you're going to do. First, you're going to take a look back at that list that we made of the value of AR in your optical. We'll call this your little safe zone. Then you're gonna develop your baseline. Your baseline is basically a number that you've come up with by looking at what the quantity of AR that was sold this time last year and the quantity of AR that was sold last month. We're gonna put baseline at 40 pairs of AR. This is you assuming that with your growth overall that you're Optical without even trying could probably sell 40. Okay, fine. We're gonna take that price that we came up with and we're going to multiply it by this baseline number. This is at least what you made last year. So you're going to make what you made last year, but anything above and beyond that, we're going to give a portion of that back to the team. Let's just say you're going to bonus your team $20 for every pair of AR that is sold beyond that 40 baseline. Now stay with me, some of you are freaking out. We are encouraging your team to change their mindset. I want you to set your reach for the stars number. Let's say that your reach for the stars number is 25 more pair than what your baseline was. So we're gonna put you like at 65. We're going to tell your team members that anything above that 65 is going to be $25 a pair. So from that 40, up to 65, they're going to get $25. They don't get paid for the bottom 40, only the difference. And when we're talking about a payout to your team, every optical is going to be a little bit different, but don't be naive to things that are going on in the optical. And let me talk to you team members, don't get all stingy just because you worked harder than Sherry did or Mary did or Sue did, I don't care. You are getting a profitability sharing and this is a good opportunity for you. So be a team and act like a team. With that being said, let's say that you have five team members and all of them work full time. So you're going to split it five ways. I think that the person at the front desk is equally as important overall in the grand scheme of things as the doctor is in the back room, as the opticians are in the lab, because overall, if it weren't for that person scheduling that patient up front, then you wouldn't be able to see the patient at all. So we have to work as a team and give credit overall. One of your first practice enhancers, you are going to see your goal tracker. We encourage you to print this out. The format of this practice enhancer is actually on legal size paper. So if you have to send it down to FedEx or Kinko's or whatever store to have it printed on nice color paper, do it. And then we want you to laminate it. Why? Because we are going to set forth goals for your optical because that which is tracked will grow. And we are going to start tracking certain metrics in your office 
that are going to grow your optical. This month, we're gonna focus on anti-reflective treatment. You will see that for this optical, we have an example baseline of 40. The shoot for the stars number is 65. Down at the bottom, you'll see it goes from the first to the 31st. So every month is when this is going to pay out. We are going to do this for at least two months because it takes about that time to create a new habit. When you've created a new habit for your team, everything else is gravy. So we get to move on to something else and another thing to track and another goal to achieve. But make sure you tell your team up front, we are going to run this for two months. Then detail everything. And the bottom, after 40, it's $20. After 65, everything after that 40 is $25. Woohoo! You can see over on the left it is blank, and so you'll go ahead and in this scenario we counted by twos to get up to 80. If you have a higher baseline, let's say that's like 140, and your reach for the stars number is 200, and adjust accordingly. You would fill in everything accordingly to make sure that you get up to that 200 number. But going back to our 40 example, now this is what you do go ahead and put a dot at the end of the month, so let's say this month ends on the 30th, it's going to sit at 65. So that is the shoot for the stars number. Now what I want you to do is I want you to connect from day one at zero all the way up to that reach for the stars number. That's gonna be our trend line. So you're gonna try and always trend above that line. This will get your office so excited. We're also gonna have you draw a horizontal line across at the 40 for the baseline. And then what we're gonna have you do, every day have one of the team members, I encourage not the team leaders, have the team members do it. Have the team members track at the end of every day, pull the report to see how many were sold that day, how many AR treatments were sold that day. Now, not how many were ordered, how many were sold. Remember, warranties and scratch coats, things like that, those don't count. You'll see, for example, with this optical, they sold four pairs of anti-reflective treatment on the first. On the second of the month, they sold six more pairs, so that got them up to 10. On the third of the month, 14, then 16. And then after that, it was the weekend. So you can see on the fifth and the sixth, there are no dots because it's the weekend. And you can see them trending up that line to see where you're kind of at, pushing towards trying to get that reach for the stars number. You wanna be able to set forth a goal and you want to be able to grow with it. Tell your team that if you guys do a really good job on this, we're going to keep this stuff rolling because it's only going to make things better. Now, you can say for next month, because you stuck to your word, right? For next month, you are going to set the baseline and then you're going to set the growth number and be fair on the baseline. Don't blow it out of the water. Make sure that if last year was at this number and this last month was at this number, that you're close to that, okay? Don't blow it out of the water for your team. You have to make a tangible goal. So set your baseline. Your baseline might be a little bit higher than last month, but make the payouts the same because that's what you agreed to for two months. What you're doing is you're training your team to get in the mindset of selling anti-reflective treatments. Your optical has their mind right, the possibilities are endless. That which is tracked will grow. Look for change and remember, be spexy.